Welcome to 23 Streams, and thank you for spending time here today. 23 Streams is a reference to Psalm 23 and the still waters of rest. Our prayer is to be a resource to help you connect and have a personal relationship with God. God will lead us day by day to green pastures where we can eat enough for today. He will guide us to calm waters where we can rest and cool off. He wants to be close to us to restore our souls. To help you get the most out of your prayer and meditation time, we created daily journals that go along with this series of scriptures and also includes a quick gratitude journal. Links are in the description for the men's and women's journals. This is also a small way to support the 23 Streams ministry so we can keep providing videos. After you're done, if this has been helpful, hit the like button. In today's time, we will practice Lectio Divina, an ancient listening prayer tradition rooted in the belief that Christ is present in the scriptures and that God can speak to us through them. The goal is to create a meeting place with the living God. It is intended to be emotional and formational instead of instructional. We will do three scripture readings, each followed by one to two minutes of quiet time for you to listen and hear from God. During the first reading, just listen to the scriptures and feel them. During the quiet time, keep feeling them with a calm breath. During the second reading, focus on things that God and the Holy Spirit highlight and offer them to God. During the third reading, pray to God asking about the highlighted things, and in quiet time, listen to God and the Holy Spirit to see if they show you what to do about the highlighted things. Let's get started. Find a comfortable place. You can be sitting or lying down, eyes open or closed. Breathe slowly and deeply, and thank God for the breath that he has given you. Ask God to speak to you through the scriptures. As I read the scriptures the first time, just listen and feel the word of God over you. Psalm 30, W.E.B. Translation. I will extol you, Yahweh, for you have raised me up and have not made my foes to rejoice over me. Yahweh, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. Yahweh, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to Yahweh, you saints of his. Give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. You, Yahweh, when you favored me, made my mountain stand strong. But when you hid your face, I was troubled. I cried to you, Yahweh. I made supplication to the Lord. What profit is there in my destruction if I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise you? Shall it declare your truth? Hear, Yahweh, and have mercy on me. Yahweh, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have removed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness to the end that my heart may sing praise to you and not be silent. Yahweh, my God, I will give thanks to you forever.
as I read the scriptures the second time, bring awareness and mindfulness to anything the Lord is highlighting and offer them to God. Psalm 30, NIV translation. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. As I read the scriptures the third time and last time, ask God about the highlighted things and if he is calling you to anything. Psalm 30, the message translation. I give you all the credit, God. You got me out of that mess. You didn't let my foes gloat. God, my God, I yelled for help and you put me together. God, you pulled me out of the grave gave me another chance at life when I was down and out. All you saints, sing your hearts out for God. Thank him to his face. He gets angry once in a while, but across a lifetime there is only love. The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. When things were going great, I crowed. I've got it made. I'm God's favorite. He made me king of the mountain. Then you looked the other way, and I fell to pieces. I called out to you, God. I laid my case before you. Can you sell me for a profit when I'm dead? Auction me off at a cemetery yard sale? When I'm dust to dust, my songs and stories of you won't sell. So listen and be kind. Help me out of this. You did. 
You changed wild lament into whirling dance. You ripped off my black morning band and decked me with wildflowers. I'm about to burst with song. I can't keep quiet about you. My God, my God, I can't thank you enough. Lord, thank you for your goodness and grace. Thank you for what you have highlighted to me. Today, help me to rest in the truth of your words and plant them in my heart securely. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being here. If this has helped in any way, please like and subscribe.